Alright then. Let us continue. So my next target is Cook Chief for the simple reason that they don't have any allies, so. None of those is Kono, so I'll be... Temple appointments. Won't be needing this Pine Network for a little while. And actually... And I probably should. Yeah. It's certainly a good idea to declare a war on Bungu as soon... Oh, Atomo. As soon as possible in order to... Reduce the chances of them being able to rebuild quickly enough. Anything threat capable of threatening me. Actually, I'll wait until the end of the month before recalling them. This will reduce trade income, but I don't need it as much anymore now that all of the my army has fully reinforced again. Now I just need to wait for the truce to run out and for morale of my army to replenish, at least somewhat. Enough not to be killed by a passing stick <laughs> entirely. Oh wow, that urban gravity is a lot higher than I expected. I didn't hit 23. I mean, 63. This might actually end up being a more valuable city than the original on the island. EU. I guess it was just the town hall and. Yeah, the paved road network probably helped too, as well as the university. I'm not sure where that large, large urban gravity modifier came from. Plus 30%, plus 20%, oh that's already plus 50%. That's another 10%, so plus 60%. This doesn't give a modifier, just a base amount. This gives another 25%, so... 85% and this gives a 5%. But there are no docks in place here. Well, this gives another 5%. And there's no other modifiers, I guess. I mean, it's not producing as much urban goods, but that's because the population is simply smaller. It is going to grow very, very quickly, though, so... Probably should actually get... I mean, a trade harbor probably would actually help a lot. So... I should focus on that. Especially since I've just invested in the Sadu, so... I don't really need to invest again for a while. Can the Emperor please actually give me something? Honor Noble House. Let me revoke your autonomy. Uh, okay, yeah. Even if I were to lose the stability, I would go back to plus one stab by the start of next year, so. Of course, EU and Rust might. Huh. If I lose the stability, I hate you, game. Oh. Okay. Good, the expected occurrence actually happened. Right, I have a great claim. 
I won't be needing the spine network for a while. I'm going to focus on fabricating a claim on Kono. I'm still not sure why Ashikaga released them as a as a daimyo. Oh well. Now it's just a bit of a waiting game until the truce runs out. There's also the issue that until I peace out with the remnants of Otomo, the core process will stop for some time. I'm gonna call on Utsomiya in order to get some assistance with dealing with Suwa. Especially since I know exactly where they are. There, you've got your target. Heavily restrict looting. I actually want to conquer these provinces, after all. I probably should check the coalition map screen just to see if there's any serious amounts of aggressive expansion. Oh, 29. About 30. Okay, maybe I do have to be a little bit careful with how fast I expand. It would not be a good idea for... Well... The myriad little daimyos of the other half of Japan to all go up against me. Maybe not all of them, but I'd say three quarters of them. That would not be good. That would not be good at all. So, it would be best if that were to be avoided. There's still the question of what should I do for my next idea group. Probably should do another diplomatic just for... On the other hand, I do still want to do exploration ideas as soon as available, although I do have to wait for... Because it 
For non-colonizers, the requirements are admin 16 and Diplotech 20. Unless I happen to save an idea group the entire time, I'm going to need admin tech 20 as well. What? Why do I keep getting white pieced? I'm not sure what's going on. But it's an automatic piece. I can't do anything about it, so... I'm not sure. Right, let's cause them to melt. I took only 100 casualties from that. Might he have a core province at Takuzan? I can just imagine that level of border gore. Uh. Yuck. Yeah, so it looks like if I want to fight a Tommy, I'm going to have to win against them as soon as possible to prevent the white piece. I'm not entirely sure why it's happening, though. Yeah, I'll be going, I'll demote the greater nobles and then revoke some privileges from them. Because they have 13 privileges. All of them to a degree really bad. Well, this one I don't care about anyway, since I get such a tiny amount of Manpower from Nested. Okay, that probably is from the Pure Nobles, but still. I get a large amount from just from the, my own provinces compared to the Estate Levy. Which is why I don't even care. They can have as much relaxation as levy, of Levy as they want. It's a similar degree with the tax rate, although I would like to have that low. It is preferable to some of the other things this does. This is one of the worst ones. Army Tradition Decay, and Miltech Cost. Ouch. This one's also not great, because it raises unrest in every own province of that estate. I don't care about this one, so long as I don't use, see the need to use advisors. Which, at the moment, I don't. I want to get rid of this as soon as possible, because that raises autonomy in the more autonomy they have, the more power they have, and the harder it is for me to... Or, well, the more devastating it is for me to take the privileges away. At the very least, if they have issues with it. Which they sometimes do, sometimes they don't. 
It's really random chance on that one. Including exactly how much stability is taken away. However, by lowering the influence they have on the government, the less damage they can do in the ways of reducing stability. So I've been kind of putting it off because I've been working, focusing on trying to raise my stability. Now I think about it, I probably should build a spy network here too to rage see to raise the siege bonus and make it go faster because I don't need a long war. I'm not sure where they're getting this bolster national defenses from. Is it a policy? Well, I don't see it here, so... It might be... specific to defensive wars, which is probably the reason why I haven't seen it. Because I fought in one defensive war so far. Our reputation as a fearsome foe precedes us, and... Few are those in Japan who now dare oppose our authority. This might be a good time to show the other daimyos that we attempt to retain our position for ourselves and for our family. But on the other hand, a more lenient approach in our dealings with them might cast us in a more favorable diplomatic light. So either I can get plus one re re diplo rep until the current ruler dies. Or I can displace all daimyos for 25 prestige. I'll take the prestige. Since I can't have my own subjects as a daimyo. Outside of starting situation like the one Usagi is in with... I'm sorry, it's such a long and complex... It's a long and complex of enough of a name. And as far as I know, only appears in M&T, which is why I don't know it. Utso no Mia. Maya. It's no Maya. Usagi is a subject of the. Yeah, starting situations like that. Hmm, so. I'm not sure why. Otomi. Otomo does that. But it's something I'm going to have to look out for in the future. Hopefully I'll be able to still take them on and properly win. Oh yeah, and Korea conquered a bit of territory right here. It looks a little strange. <laughs> Although it does look like Tianwan is collapsing again. He didn't even manage to... Because I know for sh I'm pretty sure they had this. Beforehand. So they haven't even managed to unify China. They're already starting to collapse. It also doesn't help that they have, don't even control the northern capital because Key is still going strong. They're probably still one of the great powers. Yep, fifth place.
Oh, finally. Alright, I can rest from warfare for a while now. Yes, it would be actually be best to wait until the truce is up with Shoni, declare a war on them, and then occupy Otomo as fast as I can. And hopefully do it before whatever ha causes the white peace ends up doing it at the end. However, I will spend some of that money that I just earned. Like most of the money that I... A good portion of the money that I've earned so far today. I'm getting four new light chips. Empower the trade fleet. Yep, spent a bunch of military points. Alright, let's see where it is. Okay, there's one demoting Anaki. Not the greatest spot. Ooh, an EU, that's nice. They will be much more manageable. Although, well, how much expansions of autonomy do they have now? Moderate, so. It does say that it's minus 0 0.34, but that's only big. or, well, here, okay. We're in E right now. It does say minus 0 0.265, however, the expansions for of local autonomy actually happens to be 5% higher. So the actual resting point is 21.5% below what it currently is, so 8.9%. Kawati! I really don't care about this province. I was hoping for someone in Sedu. Oh well. Them demoting an EU is still a win. EU. Because that's one of my major cities. And I want them out of all of my cities. On the other hand, um, doesn't one of my provinces have... The, yeah. One of the other things you can see with the population is burger influence. If burger influence hits 100%, then that shows that the burgers now have enough influence to have full control over the province. And as a result, the burgers will take over. Which, while they are more difficult to control than the lesser nobles, are easier to control than the greater nobles. And, they put all their money into investing into buildings and whatnot, so... They will gain a decent amount of money from Setu. Although I will still continue to gain most of the money. They will still continue... They still would gain a decent amount of money. And their treasury is already at 570 Five. Even with the just having, you know, a couple of really minor provinces. More or less, well, I can just open up the estate view. Greater nobles, greater nobles, lesser nobles. Yep, just this small province of Bizen, Bizen, which barely has anything in it. 
and Suwao, the largest city of the region of... Well, it's called Nishinipan. Anyway, continuing on. I just need to wait for the spy network to finish up, and then once this truce is done, which probably actually won't be today, but it likely will be tomorrow, uh, declare a war on Shoni. Focus Atomi, knowing that there's something that's getting in the way, and annex, and annex them as quickly as I can manage. Because if I can manage that, I won't have any issues whatsoever. Set up race to correct them. In fact, in order to speed up that siege, I'll begin building a spy network in Otomo in order to speed up the siege, because that's pretty important. Probably would be best to research in December. At least the block books, the admin, the next up admin tech, because that's when corruption should be at its minimal amount. Unless an event is about to give me corruption, in which yeah, I probably should research that first. That way, it minimizes the amount of corruption I have without the institution tech penalty start to get in the way. I am not granting that privilege. I did not lose any stability, although my legitimacy has dropped by a lot. So, actually, I think I'll call in a favor from the lesser nobles. They could provide me with political support. It's only eight legitimacy. Okay, that's not actually worth it. I can still honor a noble house, though. Now is a good time to revoke a privilege. Oh, actually remove that. Ooh, they're not even going to give me any stat reduction. That's nice. I've reduced the cost of Pike Squares by... Well... 
16 mil points. Which is still better than nothing. The Ottomans are having a civil war. Uh -huh. Just as soon as I core province. That's amazing. What timing. Wow, it looks like the golden and the blue horde have collapsed. Well, no, it's gold. The white horde and the blue horde have more or less completely collapsed. It really does open the way for other countries to play a role. As you can see with Theodoro right there. Wait, pause the game. I'm going to be losing innovativeness rapidly. Which is a bit sad, but there's not much I can do about it. Yeah, I don't know why Theodora has so much stuff here. It does look like they took the time to accept Crimean culture, though. I mean, they definitely need it. They probably should take the time to build. Well, at least a trade port here. That way they could start to actually get communication efficiency. I don't think there's been more that's ever really happened. Yeah. Either no event exists yet to simulate the rise of these words, or also perfectly possible. The more the lane just never actually did anything spectacular or amazing. So it does look like my spy network got caught, so it's going to be a little bit longer before. Hmm. Japanese tea culture. That actually should raise the price of tea. Well, oh. so. It's going to be a little while longer before I can declare war on them. Because I need to fabricate a claim before I can do so. 385 ducats. Of course I will. Besides, my military is... Literally... At least three times as... Well, okay, maybe not three times, but at least two times as strong as any other daimyo. And is stronger than Ashikaga's. I don't need an I don't need that ten percent morale. At all. Yeah, wasn't I taking advantage of a recent rule development? Oh. I already did it with the marketplace, right? That was all I wanted.
I think I'll build a marketplace here since I just have the money. On the other hand... Hmm. Right. This is for... to help improve communication. Probably. I'm not sure, sure how it's going to react. But I certainly hope it would be... as an improvement.
of the province core. Alright, um, truce ends February 1473, so another two and a half years. Oh, Joy, I lose a stab. Okay, if it's below 150, I know it would be. No, I didn't lose anything. Okay. Lake Netherlands also having a civil war. I think it might have something to do with their capital being all the way over here. Which is a terrible position considering, you know, um, all their other provinces happen to be over here. With no sea, no actual connection. I would probably move my capital over to either Nanning or... Uh, Maybe uh, Liu Cao or Wu Cao. Or Taiping. These two because they're the only ones with any decent amount of urban development. This one because it has the most development. This one because it's pretty central-ish. And is a nice compromise to getting all of the three money makers under control. To a decent degree. How, how much longer? Until I can do that. Mm. It's going to be a while.
the that I was past him ago. Don't really care that much. Right, let's get that trade power boost because it's going to improve my economy. Oh, not now. Isn't that a Portuguese ship? Yeah, one of the things about M&T is that certain countries get unique units. Which range from unique infantry to unique cavalry or unique trade ships or unique heavy ships, etc. Only certain cultures slash countries can get those specific units. They're only available for a short amount of time. They are better than their contemporaries, but not by a huge amount. So they don't get ridiculously overpowered. Uh, I just need to wait for 641 ducats to be in my treasury and then I can build that trade harbor. Hopefully it, produce, it increases communication. Purchase everywhere. Everyone, oh well. It's still money spent into developing my capital. Which is the best prompt I have. At least when it comes to the level of autonomy they enjoy. I probably should. No. Reducing inflation won't help that much. So Let's get Pike Squares. Chong and crossbowmen. No. Okay, Yari Gumi Spearmen or Rocketeers. Do I want the fire pips? Because fire is not that valuable at the moment. Not that strong at the moment. On the other hand, I already have a ton of cavalry to do shock with, so. Yeah, let's take Rocketeers. Aero rockets. Hmm. Interesting. Yep, they're definitely. Uh, the Tian one is definitely starting to lose control by building a bunch of military commissions to try to maintain their control. That's like the Ford maintenance reduction. Why not? I'm already spending a decent amount on the Ford maintenance and I haven't turned off my ports. I guess it's because I don't really care at the moment. Oh well. There's not much of a reason to actually keep them in place during times of peace. On the other hand, if someone declares war on me, it's best to have them up, so... I'll probably, I think I'll just leave them. At least for the time being. Oh, I can't say one good thing, though. It appears that my education budget is now stable enough to not constantly jump between level 3 and 4. So, that's good. Because that certainly is annoying to have to deal with every once in a while. Anyway, I gained... I got up to stab 2. Yay! That gives me more trade power and yearly centralization. Act enough to almost combat the effect of corruption, right? Well, I have to wait for the panel to update to actually see. Not quite enough, but it's almost enough. It's currently at 47. Well then. Well, 
All oh, right, build the trade wharf. Isn't this also a decent city? Yes. Does it have a trade wharf? Yes, it does. Uh, and that's why its communication efficiency is that good. Only 16 days. Of course, it's going to be quite a while before it. Its autonomy starts to reduce. Let's see here, there's 37%, it's 37% higher than the separatism. The Greater Nova's control, and there's also rank 3 fortifications. And then there's two of the minor autonomous clans. Although that's a very high level of defensiveness, defensiveness that they put in there, so... Well, since I have so much manpower... I should go ahead and construct at the very least a first level fort here. Additionally, that reduces the effect that local fortifications has on the amount of autonomy. I, if I ever want to get anything out of this province, I'm going to have to do that. There's no way around it. Anyway, what's the population? 51,000. I do have a center of production here, too. They produce 5.11. One nine, four point five. That already has a center, and this already has a center. So, although the urban production still is beginning to spread around, although it is very, very slowly doing so, it will take a long while before anything serious spreads through there on its own. However, this is rising fast, so... I'd say in about... 100 years I'll be able to choose a rank 3... Well, at the latest in 100 years. As long as no one raises the city down multiple times via looting. Wait before the month passes over. I see that spy network seems to be just about ready to fabricate a claim in the next month or two, so I probably should raise army maintenance in order to not have abysmal morale. Wait, no. Continue the mission. Now I move to here in order to make sure I get as much money as I can out of it. Please do not let the spies get caught. That would be really annoying to have to deal with. I'm also pretty sure I have the strongest navy in Japan. I mean, it also helps that literally almost every one of my provinces is a coastal province. There is one exception. It's over here. Kawadi. It's my only non-coastal province. And it might stay that way for a while. Right, recall this diplomat. Well, I guess I have to wait for a moment. Oh well. I need a couple more months to raise morale. I guess it takes a month for the Castle's Belly to arrive. Oh well. Siege is still going to take a while. Is my war exhaustion looking good now? Yep, it hits zero, so... Not gonna have any issues with that. Alright, stop building the spy network. Go ahead and declare a war. 
not going to need any assistance for this. It's only a level 2 forward. Restrict looting. As long as nothing serious happens with... Oh. I don't know, like... Sometime last week, where the nobles decided to go ahead and build three levels of local fortifications. All at once. As long as nothing like that happens, it should be fine. Yeah, that was annoying. Three levels of local fortifications. All at once. I really hope I don't have to deal with that again anytime soon. No, it wasn't three levels. It already had level one, I think it was a cap before two, and then they just tacked two additional levels on. That was ridiculous. Let's see. Okay, the nobles are willing to get... Okay, so it's around the time the nobles are willing to take another favor from me. I'll probably do the prestige one. Especially since I'm getting points some for yearly, yes. and I'm probably will get an event at some point to make me to let me raise it higher. Oh, this one again. Awazi, where is that? Oh, this tiny island. Yeah, I'll just take a slight increase in taxes. I think I'll go ahead and build a marketplace and a temple here, too. Again, just for a little extra trade power. Again, something stopped the war. Shimazu agreed to Kono with a proposal to force peace. Oh, Shimazu is enforcing peace. Oh, okay, so that means I... Yeah, I probably shouldn't be expanding here anymore. Shimazu is keeping, trying to stop from... Trying to attempt to slow my expansion down, it appears. Great. Well, I'm sure I can take on somewhat more difficult rivals anyway. Oh well. Protect trade. I'll let the months take over and should be good for today. Alright then, we managed to conquer a bit more territory. And now I finally realized what the source of the white pieces are. Damn allies. With friends like these, who needs enemies? Huh. Oh well. I'll get them on my side. I'll have them on my side anyway. In fact, I would actually be fine with them taking control of the territory, because eventually when I become Shogun, they're going to be my most 
loyal of subjects. So anyway, until tomorrow, see you then.